I seriously skate to the soundtrack of Frozen because they listen to it so much. And I'll be like with a whole bunch of skaters that n don't have kids. And I'm like, let it go. In my head, like skating. And I'm like, I can't like, believe this. It, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Awesome. Somebody else is listening to like Lil Wheezy or something. And I'm right. like singing <laughs> Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was so young, but we had, I guess, a, a normal life until I was four when my parents were um, uh, got a divorce. So at a young age, our family was pretty divided. When I was eight, my mom remarried, and uh, she married a heroin addict who has been a heroin addict for, at that time, he was like 15 years or something like that. So he. He didn't tell my mom that he was a heroin addict until they got back from their honeymoon. She had no clue. I lived with him for about 14 years and watched, uh, watched a grown man struggle with insecurities and um, in and out of rehab and uh, just some, uh, an addict thrown into a family. It showed me a lot of what not to be as a father figure and also was another letdown in my life as a father figure. So that was pretty, that sucked. That sucked watching my mom go through that. That was pretty hard. So when skating was consuming me, it was, that was the reason I didn't want to go home. I, you know, he would, my stepdad would be in and out of jobs and um, in and out of recovery homes, and you just when he when you come home, I'm like, I don't want to be here right now. It just sucks, and uh, it was never comfortable. And so skating was like my home. So I remember uh, I got in a fight, like a full fist fight. I don't I don't know how to fight. We were just socking each other face to face, and I remember my nose was broken. I had two black eyes, and uh, I only got one good hit on him, and I hit him in the mouth, and uh, I looked down and I fully like chipped my, my knuckle with this tooth. Like there was the bone, there was everything. So I had to go to the hospital because it was just a, it was, it was a gnarly thing. And I was so depressed and I was, for whatever reason, I was like suicidal. I was just insecure, not confident and searching for um, validation. And I wasn't really getting it. I would get it through skateboarding, but it, realistically I was looking for like a father validation that which I never had you know I can go to the 32nd floor and just jump off it right now that's how I felt I was just so down I remember my friend Robbie called me and was talking to me and uh, he just like hey you know how, how are you doing how are you all right and I was like hey I'm in the hospital man I got in a fight you know my hands infected and been here for two nights and I'm just I don't feel too good, and I remember him just preaching to me and uh, and just telling me about um, about God loving me and accepting me for who I am, and and uh, I asked him to pray for me, and he said no, and I was like, why? And he's like, I th he's like, I think this is a time for you to pray with your father. I just remember like my walls were starting to like, I started peeking over the walls of my heart and like God really was on me. He's like, it's like, hey, how you doing? Been here watching you. I love you. God loved me out of the ordinary. It's hard to understand how much God loves us because I don't, I don't understand it. It's, it's really comforting to know that God's gonna be with me and uh, having that father affirmation will, um, keep me going. <laughs>